All right, welcome to the MAGA Warriors channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to attach Trump flags to your car because Trump trains are coming back and you wanna know how to do it correctly where they're not gonna go flying off your car or fall off. So here we go. Okay, so here you can see typical flagpole that we use. Um, made a little nicer. This is a two inch piece of PVC, two inch wide, and you'll be able to see holes were cut in it where the top and the bottom of the flag go on the front of the tube and on the back. And wire was threaded through and then duct tape a little bit so the sharp pieces of wire don't poke the flag or snag on anything. And then you attach these metal clips so that you're not trying to attach the wire, you're attaching the flag directly to the clip, which also allows you to remove it and switch to other flags, not always use the same flag. And then we bought a two inch cap to put on the top of it. So nicer look for the drive. Here's the uh, bottom one down further, same thing where the bottom of the flag grommets are a hole on one side of the pipe, hole on the other side of the pipe, wire threaded through, duct taped over the sharp end so they don't poke, and a um, clip to hold uh, the flag on. Here you can see the flag, you stretch it out first to determine where the hole should be drilled in the pipe at the top and bottom. Um, make it a little bit loose, a little bit loose, not super tight. And now you can see how they are attached to the grommet right there. Also, you can add uh, zip ties if you think you're gonna be driving too fast and you want to give the flag a little more secure hold to the pole. Uh, some people, you see the back windows up a, just a little. In this vehicle, the back window will go all the way down, but some people's window only goes halfway down in the back for child safety. So you simply uh, put your flag right in the back window, and you'll be able to see down here, it, it kind of wedges um, between the seat sometimes just up against the floor because you're going to tie it to this portion right here and also when you do that the rope that you wrap around here you want to get it behind your seatbelt underneath there because you want your seatbelt to be able to function easily but you also are going to have to realize that your doors are not going to open and you're not going to be able to put your windows up. So we're kind of doing this on a cold day so that you can see that when it's cold like this, this is how you do it. So here we're attaching like a, it's like a giant rubber uh, twisty zip tie type thing that we found that has worked pretty good for us at uh, high rates of speed and travel. You don't want to be going super fast with these while you're driving, but these are pretty good from our experience to holding it on the vehicle so it doesn't come flying off. But you also want to support it with probably some rope. So again, you want to go ahead and put the rope and show exactly where the rope goes. It goes underneath the seat belt so it doesn't interfere with your seat belt operation. You can probably wrap it around the pole itself a couple of times and then to the car as well and this is how you get it to secure I'm gonna shift the pole straight up and down so you want to try to get the pole as straight up and down as you can um, the bottom of it you can kind of wedge between the seat and the door so that it won't move you might be able to put something down in there under your car seat to help keep it from moving but um, see how we did two different ones, a, a little bit lower and a higher one. And you want that for just more support and to keep it from moving. 
And that's how it's going to look right there. Um, for winter time, again, your windows cannot go up and you can't open your doors. For this vehicle, the trunk actually opens uh, with like a power button. And you can probably crawl in and out there that way. You put your seat all the way down. And then it's easy to crawl through there and get into your driver's seat. Or you can, uh, what we call Duke Boy it, where you put a bucket down on the ground right here with a rope on it, hang on to the rope, climb in through your window, pull the bucket in after you. That way you have a little stool you take with you to get in and out of the car as you need to without having to remove the flag. You can always uh, stop and at least undo the ropes and such on one side so that you can get out if you're getting out temporarily and then uh, reattach it when you get back in. You can actually reattach it from inside the car too. It's a little more difficult, but another way to do it. Of course, winter time, you want to have um, good heavy winter clothing on and your heater blasted up on full. And you should be good to go. Happy Trump train.